welcome back to the tea of the day. Today I have one called turmeric chai from Totem Teas, and it has uh, cassia bark, ginger root, turmeric root, of course, licorice root, orange peel, and clove in it. Let's see what we got. Hmm. Okay. Now, if you remember back when I did uh, the turmeric tea, turmeric, turmeric. Turmeric, turmeric, turmeric. Now, if you remember back when I did the turmeric tea just by itself, um, I found it rather flat and like it needed some friends. And this definitely does help because the turmeric is still very light and it isn't a very punchy flavor. It definitely has to be with other things to make it really have any effect because it is so light. I can de definitely taste it in there but it is helped by having the uh, other bits in there as well. Yeah, I would say with this one um, that it needs a little bit of honey. As far as chais go, it's not very sharp, which is nice. I am not a fan of a sharp chai. But overall, this is this one's just fine the way, uh, way it is as far as the blend is concerned. I, I like, definitely like the blend. Um, but let's talk a little bit about cassia bark, otherwise known as cinnamon bark. May have heard of that one. Um, but uh, anyways, cinnamon bark is good as an anti-inflammatory. It's good for your blood sugar, and it's supposed to, be good, it's supposed to help uh, regulate insulin levels, and also supposed to help with diabetes. It's supposed to be good for various neuro... 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 De I'll get it. Neurodegenerative diseases uh, like Alzheimer's and such. It's supposed to be good with helping with bacterial and uh, fungal infections. It's also a good anti-inflammatory. It's supposed to help with things like gas, flatulence and such. And it's also supposed to be good for muscle spasms. So uh, cassia bark um, or cinnamon bark, very, very good stuff for you. Um, lots of different uses. Um, it's not an antihistamine, it's actually kind of the opposite. It's a histamine. So if you are very sensitive to things like that, it might be something you need to watch out for. Um, but otherwise, um, it's generally quite uh, healthy for you and doesn't have any uh, things that it, you run into problems with as far as it's concerned. So, Cassie Bark, yay. This tea, yay. Um, I guess that brings us to the end of our program for today. Y'all have a good tea day.